did something uh, not cool? Well, if you're speaking by strictly being by the book, I would say, um, yes, I think he did something not cool. And keep in mind, I've been in this fight sports for over 25, damn near 30 years. I started as an amateur in the 80s, and I fought all the way up till, well, my last fight was 2015, um, or 2016. Anyway, um, anytime you do something outside the boundaries and the rules of, of the commissions in which you're fighting for, that is considered trying to get an extra advantage. So I would consider that cheating. Um, so, yes, I would say that is out of bounds. You know, it, it wasn't being straight up. Yes, I would say that. But the reach, if let's say if you have a 76 inch reach, you put a glove halfway on, the glove sticks out this much further, now you have a 79 inch reach. But here's the problem I have with it and the reason why I consider it cheating. Yeah. Or, or consider it, you know, out of bounds. The more we wait, the more evidence that show Tyson Fury actually cheating against Deontay Wilder in the first and second fight. We already had Errol the Truth Spence Jr. requesting Max Kellerman and ESPN to touch on the subject that's growing faster than the coronavirus. And if you ain't a corona, if you ain't a cobra, and you ain't a snake in the sport of boxing, then you definitely gonna talk about this subject and bring awareness to it. So after the truth talked about it, I dropped a video on it. Y'all could go and check it out. I'ma leave it in the comment section below. There's other fighters that co-signed their Tyson Fury gloves at least look suspicious, such as Tyson Fury on Countryman, George Grove. And just to put icing on the cake, Tyson Fury, former opponent, Steve Cunningham, actually called out Tyson Fury for cheating against Deontay Wilder, which I have another video dropping on that. And plenty more fighters and champions or ex-champions that called out Tyson Fury for cheating against Deontay Wilder, such as Charles Martin. Y'all could catch his interview on Blue Blood Sport TV. However, the latest addition to the list is no other than Dwayne Cooper. He's a two-time champion in kickboxing and have many more accomplishments as he trained I believe up to eight world champions and had them winning in a world champion fight and Dwayne Cooper is a TMT trainer a Mayweather trainer and of course if you coming from TMT we're gonna flip that M and we're gonna talk about the TWT the whole truth when it comes to Tyson Fury glove situation. Now, first of all, whoever is running the Mayweather channel is not doing the Mayweather brand any justice because he's trying to bring his own perspective to the channel. He's trying to get his own agenda running on the channel, asking people to prove Tyson Fury innocence, and they clearly can't. So with that being said, I advise for someone to look into it as Dante made a great video on that subject. However, whoever the interviewer is, he definitely didn't get the answers he was looking for when he asked Dwayne Cooper. Because the way he worded the question, he said, is it not cool for Tyson Fury to not wear the glove all the way? What do you mean, is it not cool? Just tell it like it is. Just ask him, did he cheat or not? It's that simple. So Dwayne Cooper basically told him the truth and he definitely gave him the answer that he wasn't looking for. And he told him, yeah, it's not cool what Tyson Fury did because he basically cheated and he broke the rules. Then Dwayne Cooper called Tyson Fury a cheater after that. As y'all heard in the clip that I played, Dwayne Cooper explained the benefits that you could get fighting with a loose glove. The different benefits that you could get fighting a fighter like Deontay Wilder with a loose glove. You could give Deontay Wilder an illusion on the length or the reach of Tyson Fury. So Deontay Wilder is confused the whole time, thinking you have longer reach than you actually does. So that could mess with your timing and control of range. 
Now Dwayne Cooper talked about and broke down some of the advantages the loose tamper gloves gave Tyson Fury and there's many more because we don't know how many advantages it gave Tyson Fury. And just a little time out to let it be known, you can find the link for the video I'm referring to in the description box below. Now for the people that may ask, hmm, why you say that Aki? Well, the reason why I question what kind of benefits it gave him is the fact only the cheater knows what kind of benefits that gave him. Tyson Fury has a cheating book with all these advantages and advices when it comes to how to cheat and get away with it. So with that being said, shout out to Young Pharaoh as he's on Tyson Fury tale, breaking down, bringing up great points and one of my Aki's sent me some of the points that he was bringing up, which is Tyson Fury was actually adjusting the glove by putting his hand all the way in and pulling it out during the fight itself. Not in a million years I would have thought of that. But for Tyson Fury to plan it out and actually pull it off during the fight is genius. Even if it's cheating, I have to admit, this is genius right here. And only a cheater knows how to get away with cheating. So this TMT guy that's interviewing fighters and telling them, yo, do this what Tyson Fury did. You gotta recreate the same scenario. Give them a tampered glove, give them the same glove as Tyson Fury. And then they have to have the brain and study the book of Tyson Fury cheating tactics. And that's why you can't just throw an innocent man on camera and ask him, how did Tyson Fury cheat it? Because it's clear to see they don't have the cheating mind and the brain like Tyson Fury. So you have to recreate the same scenario. And the better question is, how was the glove rotating in 90 degrees? And the eight questions I ask on my Aerospins video that no one had the answers to, including Professor Nim, that I knocked out on my show, Split Decision is a boxing debate slash talk show. Tune in every Sunday live. So with that being said, Tyson Fury is such a genius in the ring when it comes to his boxing skills and more so when it comes to his cheating skills. Because as y'all seen him pulling off a move in the footage y'all see above, that I can't even comprehend. Not in a million years. That's why Tyson Fury is such a genius when it comes to cheating and getting away with it. I mean, he even used the corner to put the glove back in. Even though I'm in the rare corner on split decision, I don't use my A-side leverage to knock out Professor Nam. I do it with my skill alone. I don't need no help. I've been knocking out Professor Nam since day one. Y'all could go back and check that evidence and the proof with that being said on the other hand Tyson Fury he using the corner to his advantage to put the glove back in readjusting the glove during the fight like I said this man is a genius and an animal when it comes to cheating with that being said shout out to young Pharaoh for bringing awareness to this as he's doing the Nevada State Commission job for themselves, I guess he should be getting paid their salary. And since old media chooses to ignore all the fans' requests and the fighters' requests, such as Errol Spence the Truth Jr. requesting Max Kellerman and ESPN to touch on this important manner to bring awareness to it so fighters won't get away with cheating and committing murder and getting away with it, even when the evidence is out. Old media still chooses to ignore it. However, new media is working double shift to bring awareness to it since old media wouldn't do their job. With that being said, I was first to break the news. Me and DBN, as soon as he brought attention to it and called me and told me that Tyson Fury actually cheated. And these not just accusations, this is actually true. So with that being said, we've been doing our job. They haven't. But that's the usual. And if it was the other way around, that's when something is really up. But because of course, all media have an agenda and they're looking out 
for the fighters that got the complexion for the protection. Because Tyson Fury, hope insurance really kicking in. No wonder Tyson Fury went to ESPN before he fought Deontay Wilder the second time. Because when you fight Deontay Wilder, you increase your insurance. And I'm not talking about your regular insurance. I'm talking about your hope insurance. And Tyson Fury knows exactly what I'm talking about. However, just like Lomachenko hope insurance when ESPN erased Lomachenko loss on more than one occasion, can't they do the same thing to Deontay Wilder since Tyson Fury actually cheated and erases losses fairly? That should be a legit question that Max Kellerman should address. With that being said, there's a couple things that confirm Tyson Fury actually cheated versus Deontay Wilder. It's the fact that you see him readjust the glove. That's the new hard evidence caught on camera that we could see with our own eyes since God blessed us with our own vision. So unlike Stevie Wonder, we don't have to wonder. We could clearly see Tyson Fury cheating with hard evidence that we could see with our own eyes. And for the Tyson Fury fans that claim that they not seeing what we see. See the difference between animals and humans that God blessed us with having a brain. So we are able to think logically or emotionally. Either one, you could clearly see Tyson Fury cheating. So with that being said, how you explain the blood on the hand wrap of the left hand, but not the right hand? How you explain the glove rotating in 90 degrees when Tyson Fury is throwing a hook, not a jab? I'ma repeat that. When Tyson Fury is throwing a hook, not a jab. How is that even possible? How is Tyson Fury slapping with the hook all night instead of punching with it with his fist? He woulda have broke his hand. Unless his fist where the palm of his hand it should be located. How you see in the picture above Tyson Fury fist and you could clearly see the thumb. How you explain that? How you explain Tyson Fury readjusting the glove on more than one occasion? How you explain Tyson Fury hand wrap sticking out of Tyson Fury left glove but not the right one? And why is Tyson Fury left glove is looser than the right glove? It's many questions that need to be answered. So if you're gonna try to prove Tyson Fury innocence, you're gonna need to make logical sense out of what I just brought up. And just like I left Professor Nam speechless on the last episode, he's also gonna be speechless on the next episode till he admit that Tyson Fury cheated as well. So like I said, Tyson Fury hope insurance done kicked in but regardless of any of that, you can't ignore the hard evident proof. And for the people that say, well, Tyson Fury won with his skill. You trying to tell me the fact that he put his fist where the palm of his hand is, is the reason he won? You don't know ish about boxing. I'll tell y'all like Roger Mayweather loved to say. Y'all don't know ish about boxing. Because if he had all the skill in the world, why did he cheat in order to win? Explain that because y'all claiming Tyson Fury having more skill than Deontay Wilder doesn't mean a thing because almost every opponent have more skill than Deontay Wilder that Deontay Wilder faced according to y'all and Deontay Wilder knocked all of them out. So since when Deontay Wilder been the most skilled? We all know what separates him from every other fighter is his power. However, how you get someone not to use his power on his right hand? The answer to that is punching them with bare knuckle with your left hook. And that's exactly what Tyson Fury figured out. He said, I'm dipping my hand in gasoline. And that's exactly what he did. Literally, he told us the key to victory is the left hook. And it was. So Tyson Fury pretty much told on himself. So I never said... Deontay Wilder will knock out Tyson Fury with ease if he didn't cheat. I know Tyson Fury have the skills, but skills and character don't mean a thing if you cheat in order to win. So Tyson Fury disqualified himself from being an all-time great, period. He cheated on more than one occasion. 
he have taken steroids in the past and failed versus lower tier opponents. He cheated against his biggest fight against Klitschko and against Deontay Wilder. So he pretty much disqualified from being an all time great. Furthermore, we're gonna talk more about this as evidence seemed to come out almost every single day. More and more evidence and if you're trying to disagree with facts, bring facts to the table, not opinions, because opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. Some opinions are bigger than most. So like I always say, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't. And listen to these decaf, aka dumb casual ass fans slash old media. Shout out to DBN for being the entrepreneur of new media that I'm a part of. Shout out to Luna Tune for the funniest boxing memes. If a picture says a thousand words, his picture says a million words. Follow him on Instagram, keep it as G, and follow my man on IG. And follow me too at Aki TV. Shout out to all my broskis. Aki stand for broski in Arabic, so I appreciate all the love and support. If you're a casual fan and you want to be a hardcore, all you have to do is attend the Aki University every Sunday live on Split Decision. It's a boxing debate slash talk show where Aki is pound for pound number one. And last episode, Aki chewed up and spit out Professor Nims like some M&Ms. I was like Eminem on the mic. There's no competition. I guess I need better competition. So if y'all decaps want to tune in and time in, I'm looking to catch a body since not too many decaps be calling in. I guess I done scared them because if I knock out and bury my own, Bro Ski, Professor Nim Alive, picture what I'm going to do to you. So with that being said, tune in, call in on Split Decision every Sunday live and to be continued on the next episode of Aki Aki TV. Peace and we out.